What are the major symptoms of a heart attack? Well, you have symptoms of a little pain in the rotator cuff, which you call the shoulder. You can have what they call heartburn. You can have tingling and numbness in the legs or pain in the back. But the main symptom is usually that heartburn and the left shoulder pain. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, I hear they say, why are uh, the coronary arteries the most stressed arteries in the human body? Well, uh, you have the heart, which is a muscle. And when the heart is acting, we call it systolic and diastolic if you do blood pressure. The action phase of the heart means that muscle is working. When that muscle works, it causes an artery sitting on top of it called a coronary artery to get squished. So instead of being big like that, round, it gets closed like that every time the heart pumps. But if that artery is clogged up, when it gets squished or compressed, it diminishes the supply of blood to the heart. So you got to keep those arteries clean, or else when the heart muscle is active and squishes that coronary artery, the heart will not get any blood at all, and then you're going into what we call a heart attack. Okay, so what then is congestive heart failure? That's when the, uh, the arteries are congested with plaque or waste. They're congested with, with this waste material from fried foods or incorrect food combined with what people call junk food. It causes a collection of waste or plaque, which is basically manure in the collective side of the arteries and vascular veins and arteries. Okay. And that leads into what people call a heart attack. But correctly put, the heart is not attacking the person. The person is attacking the heart with their faulty bad eating habits and things of that sort. The heart is not going to attack you and kill itself. It's the attacking the person. The person is attacking the heart with their faulty bad eating habits and things of that sort. The heart is not going to attack you and kill itself. It's the